my f- gut feeling with them going into the campaign has only been strengthened by having seen them play and now obviously seen them up against us. And that is, in losing Gundogan and losing Mares, they've lost when the chips are down, go to football game and winners. De yes. And with De Bruyne being out. Now, they're, they're so good. And Erling Haaland is a freak. So he's carrying, he's, his goals are effectively carrying that side. And that's not, not like in the days where we Liverpool used to have Michael Owen with carriers or Torres with carriers and whatever, where you had it's more a handful that, yeah, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more, they've got more it's 50 good goals players. in 48 games. They've, got a, br- <laughs> they've got a brilliant <laughs> side. You know what I mean? So they've got some really good footballers in there, without a doubt. But we saw it when Rodri's out. There is a tipping point in every football team where if you take too many of the good lads out and you're forced to play too many of the backup lads, you stop being this impervious machine and you become very beatable. And I looked at that game and Jeremy Docker was the one who every, everyone's put them put him into the fancy team, myself included. You know what I mean? I'm trying to jinx it, of course. But they've now <laughs> got, they've replaced proven match winners with a bunch of lads who are very, very good at football and have done things at the highest level. Like Phil Foden's now Foden, won everything. Alvarez, Alvarez has won literally everything. Literally everything. Um, and and Docker won the Club World Cup. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, but they've, you know, and, and obviously then they've brought Docker in. But this is not Riyad Mahrez and, and Ilkay Gundogan and Kevin De Bruyne, who are guys who will just go and win a game of football. 94th minute, it's not going your way. Who gives a shit? Give me the ball. I'm going to go and do something that I've done a dozen times before in big games without breaking sweat, and I'm just going to go and make it happen. You know, Liverpool 2006, 2005, 2006, Steven Gerrard just goes, I'm just going to bang this one in for 40 yards because I can. You know, that's what they've got there. And there's no, there's nothing to say because it's Pep Guardiola and it's Man City that those lads won't go on to be the next dot, dot, dot. But today they're not. They've got Matias Nunes there on the bench, you know, who's who's not coming into that football match because he's another one in that sort of ilk. They had their best team out on the pitch there, it and they have got more to come back, of course. And maybe that you know you could look at that from both ways and go, well, you, it was a missed opportunity when they had so many players out, yada yada. But this is the thing for them. I think they've got they're more than capable of winning this league, absolutely. But I don't see imperviousness from Man City that I've seen previously because if you're telling me that it's one all in the last minute and they're kicking the ball to Doku for the 50th time and saying run at someone that's just as likely to end with him being tackled and it go down the other end whereas someone like Amarez and Gundogan you feel, it feels inevitable that they're going to go when, and score when, when Haaland is that good inevitably the plan will always be just give it to Will Haaland and he'll score what City have always had, even when they had Sergio Aguero and they've had great, they had the time when they didn't have a striker. Yeah. It was Jesus or whatever they were doing. Foden in the Foden. Yeah, they, well, they, they had goals all over the team. I was watching that City game, uh, obviously, and I didn't really, find, I didn't think anyone could score except Haaland. I wasn't, I, I didn't, I didn't think Doku was going to score. I think he could create a goal for somebody. Alvarez, maybe. I think he can. I, I never felt in that game. I felt the free kick might have been his best opportunity. I thought when that one was given away, I thought oh, we might be in bother here. He hit it at, the, at the wall. So on the dock, Gundogan would have come in last season, yeah. though, isn't he? Mahrez, Mahrez, Gundogan. On the, Mahrez, 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 Gundogan. Yeah. On the dock, Rodgers thing. is the one for me where I think Ari's going to pop up with yeah. a goal. Yeah, very, it's but very rare. So on the dock, thing though, this is the thing. He, he's, he's he's a danger. He's a threat. And we were joking earlier, like I don't have a Troy two point He's not. He's better than that. But the thing about tra- what Troy had from how you utilize your players is different. So he plays in a front. Th- three nominally but he doesn't because what they do on the right mad Alvarez plays wherever he wants Foden plays wherever he wants when Liverpool have played wide attacking players the, the, the wide forwards oh, so gosh. we engineer chances to get them into goal scoring opportunities they don't do that with Doku they start him wide on the left and ask having to take having to take people on it's so hard to score goals in that position it happens Phil Coutinho scored a, a good amount of goals doing that but that, they're not bankers they are like world you're scoring worldies if you're cutting in from that side and scoring <laughs> scoring from those situations dribbling past two and scoring you're not going to do that 30 times a season you'll do it you'll not. do it to Bournemouth and you'll do it to you know Luton you won't do it to Liverpool and for them again I said it I know he scored right every time and he scored in the League Cup game our plan for Haaland's good we do we do well against him and that, that's how good he is that he'll need he, he has half a chance it wasn't even a great chance that he gets and he makes it a great chance with how good his first two touches are mm-hmm. our game plan for Haaland for the most part is really good we cut the supply off and we boot the fuck out of him anytime he comes close to us. Or you just get someone as, as you stick to him like glue, and every, you just don't give him any anything whatsoever. That, that and when you do that to him, I am looking around thinking, well, there's no matter. He's going to cut him from over there and score. I, I agree. I, I don't see Doku 
running around four of us and, and putting one in. Roddy on the edge of the box is always a threat or, or a set piece or whatever. But I, I felt I did feel that again. I felt in the game by by you were right. Liverpool's game plan was to stop Ireland. We'll stop Ireland and we'll take our chances with everybody else. And at at this moment in time, all there, everybody else's. We've all played a lot of footy. Foden plays twice for England. Alvarez has been away, and they just didn't. They never looked like they were going to get that goal. They've got it, haven't they? Again, like Alvarez is a twenty-plus goal season yeah, forwards, and he, and he is. And he's great. I'm, and talking, I'm, talking, I'm talking the big. You're talking Gundogan. Gundogan scored the big games. Yes. The big, big games. Yeah. I still, I, I, I still think there's a bit of that, of, of that in them. Um, but it, this is the thing. It goes back to the thing of like there's things that you try and and. You just, just, it's inevitability that there's an aura that comes with footballers having been there and done it over the time, and you know, and I think Liverpool have got as Liverpool have got as many of those footballers as Man City have. You know, Haaland is a, an absolute freak, but Salah's a freak as well. You know, we've got we've got lads. Tre, Trent is in that category. Van Dijk's in that category. Allison's in that category. We've got we've got a bunch of been there, done it, won it all. Chips are down. Give the ball to these footballers as well, and we've got a bunch of X factors additionally. So, I still think. Because I, I don't think I think it hurts us to think other than this. By the way, I still think City are the, the de facto yeah, favourites for everything. The measures, they, they are yeah. uh, without without a doubt. But I think they're far closer this year to what Arsenal are and what we are than than they've yeah, been in previous to what years. Been in previous years, absolutely spot on. I think where what's interesting is you know Steve made the comment before about it being. You know, Pep didn't make a change. He's done that quite a lot this season, Pep. He's making f- wholesale changes in the other competitions because they've had the players there to do it. But when you look at the makeup of the two <laughs> squads, and we said this before the game, when you look at the bench at Liverpool now, you do feel like, actually, this is a lot closer in pure squads in terms of than it might ever have been. Even when we were winning league titles, I think City's squad was always much better. Now I'm looking around going, yeah, we can spin plates here with our players. There's always someone who's going to come in and stuff like that. Whereas I know it's different because, you know, Kevin De Bruyne is out and their squad looks a, a whole lot different when Alvarez is coming off the bench than starting for in Kevin De Bruyne's position. But I do feel like over the course of a season, our squad, Jürgen being able to just play 60-minute lads and 30 minutes here and there might actually have a better output on our on our end towards the end of the season than City whereas I think they've always just got better as the season's gone on yeah. and you know I still think they've got a 10-15 game winning run yeah. within them yes. but I do wonder whether this 90 minute 90 minute 90 minute thing might just undo them a little touch towards the back end and the Club World Cup again you know they could. there's every chance they do what Liverpool did and they go and it's just an impetus that drives them on for the season it is the thing they haven't won but there is also that thing of how how much how many times are they going to the well Where how dry are they, they going to run these players because yeah. they're losing a game on everyone else Yeah, you know it's a league game that they're missing out on and stuff like that isn't it so are they did he come back? Yeah, they might be champions of the world, but did he come back? They might be five, six points behind everyone. Mm, interesting. I look again. I I feel better for it, and it's mad to say having having seen Liverpool draw and not be great against City. But you're right; it's all about its perspective a lot of the time. I've looking at it and going, yeah, I don't. I, I it's going to be on us. What are Liverpool capable of? Because there's so many things that you can level at them. We've got as well. It's just that are the young players that we've got who've now not experienced the winning because again Foden's won everything now I said Alvarez has won everything you know Sobers Lang Gavin Birch haven't done that for us yet but and, and Gakpo are these lads who are going to kick on time will tell but it's um, yeah, yeah so I, question I feel, before we wrap I feel we're both better than Arsenal by the way I agree. Yeah. Can, we, can I wrap one that question do you think Diaz could have scored at the end I, I don't think it's been talked about enough when he just heads it straight up. Oh there. God, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I just I was, when that come in, I was thinking, oh my God, that's Darwin Nunes' his overhead kick and that. By the way, yeah, I, I, I don't quite know what he was doing. But he, <laughs> Over I, the bar. I think he could have took it down. I was thinking, like, I thought that was going to be like the moment we had the one against Luton. That's I one he was where win it. there's a world where Ederson rushes out to claim it and, it and he flicks it over his head or or whatever. But he get he just gets it wrong, doesn't he? Yeah, shame. Um, just lastly on Liverpool, then uh, Liverpool very much in the hunt. That's Chelsea, Newcastle, Spurs, Brighton. And City, we played away from home. Now they're out the way before we've even got into December. That bodes very, very well. You know, when we've had good seasons, we've had the fixtures fall kind of kindly with the home stuff. So, yeah, look, to be in contention, to be within touching distance and still be able to sit here and go, 
I'm not totally convinced that, that you know we're, we're, we're at our best yet. I don't think it's totally clicked. I think there's still some players you've got more to come. We've got a lot of players who are still bedding in. We still don't quite believe that our number six is exactly what it's going to look like in Liverpool's 2.0 final form. Some people might see these as individual criticisms and get a bit carried away with them. I go, wow, look how look where we are. When I can still, there's so much room for Liverpool to get better. Like Egan said, imagine if we played good. Imagine <laughs> if we played good. There you go, nailed it. Today.